yeah, running it down on these niggas. Uh-huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder, my nigga. You know how we did it, my nigga. Still be painting them bitches, my nigga. Ripping that roll over fucking your bitches. Sex, drugs, money, and murder. 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 Niggas, they never go hurt you. Uh-huh. Niggas, they never go hurt you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder. Uh-huh. Sex, drugs, uh-huh. money, and murder. Uh-huh. I was got the traps right. On the sand, had to get that. Uh-huh. Ran down on them niggas with a flip back. You ain't never seen none of nigga live like that. Uh-huh. I was still getting sex back. Had to fuck around getting them packs back. It's your boy, Bullets Gotti. Um, I'm going to be honest with y'all, right? I haven't been doing videos in a minute. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do a video. And the video was to talk about how the loser mentality is the hater mentality, right? I think 99% of the uh, of people in America, right? And it's sad, though. But if you really look at the internet, there are more haters than there are people that support people for just being great at what they do. Um, I look at it like this, right? Because when I look at the internet, and I see people do... They talk about Puff, right? Or they put down other people, right? And I never understood the hater mentality. I just never could understand it. And that's why I think I started my channel just to understand the diagnosis of the hater mentality because it is a diagnosis. If you look at 99% of the people that come online, they just have a, a straight-up hater mentality like... It's to the point that you'll be like, damn, yo, why you hate so much? But then you got to tell you, you got to you gotta really look at it like this, is that you're dealing with people that have so much of a, of a, um, of a complex that they feel like the world owed them something. So the majority of most haters feel like the world owed them something. They'd rather put somebody down. They'd rather not uplift. They all they don't give no game. They just make they just say all type of things. It's like when you look at guys like Hassan Campbell, you look at people like Jaguar Wright, or you look at people like, you know, um Charleston White, Lando Brown. Just the majority of these people. They all haters, man. Whack one hundred. It's just Reggie Wright haters. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got people that have their complaints, and I wouldn't call them haters. And then you got motherfuckers that just straight up haters. Like, you just hear their conversation. Just, they just have, like, this, 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 this conversation where everything is a hate. And everybody, and I'm, and I'm kind of, like, finding, like, weird how people could just get on the hate train. Like, nobody has an opinion of, well, <laughs> you know what? I don't believe this about this person. Everybody gets on it. And I said to myself, the world is full of haters, man. There's less people that aren't haters. And then there's people that just are haters. And I think the whole, like, look at that whole Drake beef. Everybody hated on that dude. You know what I'm saying? Everybody haters just have this whole uh, group mentality, mob mentality. Like, the whole mob mentality of just hating one person just shows you that there are so many haters in the world. And anybody that has a hate bone in their body, that's not a person that, that has a pure heart or good spirit. That's a person that has a spirit of the devil, of a demon. Because anybody that always has to put somebody down, shoot somebody's dreams down... Always got to say negative stuff. Never have nothing nice to say. Just wake up every morning just to damn somebody or shoot somebody's dreams down or hate on somebody's success. You know what I'm saying? Or just get on a platform just to be, you know, just a hater. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that just, they just live for the hate. Like, the hate is everything. Like, and that's the thing I never understood is like, what makes a hater <laughs> wake up and say, I hate you? And I said to myself, 
You know what makes a hater say those things and make a hater wake up in the world? Is that he doesn't have self-awareness, self-determination, self-confidence, self-respect for himself. He doesn't have anything, not even self-motivation to motivate himself to do better, to become what that person he hates on. See, one thing I don't like about people is that a hater wakes up to just hate on somebody just because they having a blessed day, just because they wake up and enjoy and life has treat them well, just because they keep getting blessings and they don't like the blessings that somebody else getting. You know what I'm saying? If you in position, you shouldn't be hating on nobody. You know what I'm saying? God didn't put you in a position to hate. God put you in a position to spread love back to others. But you have to understand something. When you have people working in the devil workshop, playing in the devil's playhouse, of course, they're going to be always something negative. You know, I've never, like one thing I don't get with a lot of YouTubers, right? <clears throat> it's just even with the media, right? <clears throat> but just with YouTubers, they always want to say something negative about somebody. Like I watch people go on certain platforms and they just tear people down. They'll go on Tasha K. They'll go on Vlad. They'll tear people down. And I was watching Suge, right? And he said, so he said something that was very poignant. You know, people say what they want about Suge, but he said something. He said, every time you look at the internet, he said, every time people talk, why y'all got to put somebody down and got something negative to say? And it's like, even with like guys like a whack 100, you don't like Tupac, cool. But why every time you talk about Pac, you got to disrespect him? Same with Reggie Wright. You don't like Biggie? Cool. Why you got to shit on Big? It's like, to me, I feel like people do those things because they have insecurities with themselves or they not right with their spirit. Their spirit is not right. Because if you got negative shit to say about somebody, like, I get it. Somebody fell out with somebody and they say certain things. I get it. <laughs> But if you could say at least a couple good things about a person, I respect you as a man. But you don't have people like that that could say good things. You got people that just everything is negative because they negative Nancys. They gossipers. They haters. They play the devil's workshop and just gossip and hate all day. It's no way in hell that I could sit on a, a, a as a man that I sit on there and gossip about other men all day. That's 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 devil. That's devil. That's devilment. That's devilish behavior. You know, anybody that has a mindset of just gossiping and spreading lies and slander, that's not you not your spirit ain't clean. <laughs> your spirit ain't clean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because if my spirit is clean, I wouldn't do any things like that just to just to make me feel good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit to me just look corny. You know what I'm saying? Because I look at it like God put me here on earth for a reason to be successful. God didn't put me on earth to be hating on others. God told us he wanted us to be the best that we can be. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want us to be no haters. He didn't want us to, to envy anybody. He wanted us to be successful. Envy is the fool, is one of the four uh, devils, man. You know? Four devils. You know? A lot of people don't understand that. <laughs> and people don't realize that all this toxic energy and toxic thing, people show what type of pro, who they work for. That's why I tell people, man, God bless you, man. Because your spirit ain't right within. If you got to put somebody down, if you got to hate on somebody, just to make yourself feel better, that's that's corny to me. Like, I always tell people, like, my platform is never to down or hate anybody. My platform is just to call people out on their hypocrisy and just to hate. Because you don't got to hate somebody or dislike somebody just because you feel like your ego is bruised. You know, that's one thing I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with. 
is a person hating on somebody because they feel like their ego got shot. As a human being, man, we got to learn how to be better human beings. You know, we got to work with God sometimes, man. Like, people don't want to work with God sometimes. People just want to continue to work in the devil's playhouse. You know, you got people out here that just want to continue to push the same negative narratives out there about others. You know what I'm saying? I feel like God don't, uh, don't respect us judging anybody because... We are, some of us, a lot of us, are walking contradictions. We have a lot of walking contradictions out here in the world. But people feel like they so perfect that they, that they can't be corrected for their hypocrisy. That they can't be corrected for their belligerent behavior. They feel like they are exempt for that. And you're not exempt. For being called out on your on your BS. And I feel a lot of people just don't want to be called out on their BS because they feel like <laughs> nobody can't tell me nothing. You know? And that's the, that's that's where people get it effed up about the world. The world don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? As 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 people gotta understand, as the world turns, you know, we have the opportunity to be prophets and messengers and people to bring a message to the people. You know, people don't use their their voices for the right things. They'll rather use their voices to just continue to keep the BS. And how do the youth look at a lot of these grown men and women on here bickering and beefing all day? Just look at this. Look at how the behavior of people are on social media. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows each other. Everybody just, you got to hate for somebody. You don't even know the person. Never met him. Never been in his house. Never had a conversation. He didn't do anything to you, but you have a hate for the person. And I, I never understood that, like, being on internet is like, it was weird to me how people could just say, I hate you. I don't like how you, I don't like you. Okay, if you don't like me, don't watch me. You know, I don't, I don't believe in like the 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 not the, the the facetious, the the ignorance of people sometimes. Cause people are so foolish and ignorant sometimes. But it's not only the ignorance, but it's the it's the childish behavior because these are men, these are women. You know what I'm saying? All they do is just argue. You go on Clubhouse, you go on all these social media platforms. It's like nobody knows how to be successful. And this is why if you look. Now, a lot of platforms is tightening up on these people because it's like, what are you doing? You know, these platforms are here to network. It's not here to beef. It's not here to hate on somebody. But in the world, the world is so effed up that people feel like the way to win is to cheapen themselves. And I feel like that's not the way to win in life. You don't have to cheapen yourself to win. You don't have to hate on others to win. You could be successful without doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing about me, man. I have I'm, I have a good rapport with everybody because I'm a neutral person. I speak my mind, and I speak my mind on things that I don't have to speak my mind on. And I don't say nothing because I'm a neutral person. There's things that people put about people that I'm cool with, and it was like, yo, you need to talk about it. I don't do that. I don't do that because I learned that in life, you have to be neutral. You have to really respect others, you know, and if people don't respect others, if people don't um, be mindful of how other people's can take their approach, how other people's feel about how they can say certain things that could be hurtful and harmful. You know, a lot of people don't care about how people feel. And if you look at a lot of these platforms, you know, even the interviewing platforms, it's just disgusting how these people have platforms and they they been and they eat off of the demise of people. They eat off of the 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 the, the try to destroy somebody. Like I watch people like Tasha K and all these platforms like Tisa Tales and all of 
And I'm saying, you women could do so much great content, but y'all would rather tear others down to make profit, to make bank. Same thing with the dudes. It's not, it's no exact with the dudes. The dudes is the same way. And I'm saying to myself, in the culture, it's like everybody wants to kick people's back in just to get success, just to make a name for themselves. Like that's the, that to me is the cheap way. That's the cheap way. That's the cheap way of success. That's the cheap way because you're cheap. You're cheating yourself. You're cheating yourself to believe that you can be successful if you hate on others. That to me, it doesn't make any sense. To hate on others, to have success, to lie on other people. You don't care if it's the truth or not. You just want to be famous. You just want to check. I can't respect that in people. I just can't respect that. That to me is not how you uplift a community, man. And this is why we can never win as a people because we'll rather cheapen up our content and this is why people can coach your votes and do all type of things because look at what we stand for in our platforms. And I don't down anybody because I feel like in the world, man, that we're in, it's so much, um, it's like a, it's a spiritual world. It's a spiritual war going on, right? And I could get into that, but I, I, I'll wait till my next couple of videos. I'm going to do a video on that too, real soon. But it's like so much things are going on in the world that we spend our times Tearing others down. Lying on others. You know, a lot of these platforms, man, should not, a lot of these people should not have voices, man. But the reason why they have voices is because you have a lot of people with a loser mentality out here. And when you have people with that hater, loser mentality, you will always have people that have voices that shouldn't have voices to be the voice of the people. And like I said, man, to be a hater, you have to be a real loser in life. And just because you have success, you still are a loser in life to hate on somebody. I don't hate on people just because. Now, I may dislike a person, but to hate a person and and the, the hate shows all in your character. <laughs> These people shouldn't have voices. But hey, it is what it is, man. It's your boy Bullis Gotti, man. I just wanted to say this, man, because I just feel like, you know, it's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And people to this day don't understand that. How can you live with the mindset that... I hate people because of their greatness. How can you have a mindset of hating somebody because of their greatness or their success? I just take a look at that whole tax stone and cast tax stone casting over hating on Troy Ave situation, right? This man, right, saved casting over life and he just became a hater. You know, tax stone. Like, dude didn't know this man. Didn't know him from a hole in the wall. Didn't know him. Never been around him. But he felt that because this brother was successful and he was making money and he was doing things that he wasn't able to do, he couldn't accomplish, he felt the way about it. You didn't have to like his music. You didn't have to even listen to his music. If you felt that way about his music, you shouldn't even listen. But because he, he felt that his ego was bruised, that he saw this guy successful, everybody liking him. You had that hater. And he was just a hater that just caused two men their lives. One is dead. The other one is incarcerated right now. And he 
had a situation and he cost himself. But because him being a hater, hating on Troy Ave, just shows you that it's people like Tax Stone. It's more people like that out here than it is people that are successful. Because the ones that are successful always get hated on. The ones that success is not good and they not flourishing, they always got a lot to say. They always got to hate. They always got to hate. And I feel like, in my opinion, I feel like a lot of people shouldn't hate. I feel like go your own way. If you don't like somebody, nobody's putting a gun to your head to like them. Do you. But people don't want to do that. Because there's a lot of egos. There's a lot of narcissism. And it's a lot of pride. And pride is the biggest curse to men till this day. But hey, it is what it is, man. It's your boy Bullets Gotti, man. I just wanted to say that.